Ernie liked to chew gum. No, not chew, but pop. So I came home this one day, and I'm really irritated. And I'm just looking for a little bit of sympathy. And there's Bernie, lying on the couch, drinking a beer and chewing. No, not chewing, popping. So I said to him, I say, you pop that gum one more time. And he did. So I took the shotgun off the wall and I fired two warning shots into his head. He had it coming. He had it coming. He only had himself to blame. If you'd have been there, if you'd have seen it, I bet you you would have done the same. I met a St. Kilian from Salt Lake City about two years ago. And he told me he was single, and we hit it off right away. So we started living together. He'd go to work, he'd come home. I'd fix him a drink, and we'd have dinner. And then I found out. Single, he told me. Single my ass. Not only was he married, oh no. He had six wives. One of those Mormons, you know. So that night, when he came home from work, I would fix him his drink, as usual. You know, some guys just can't hold their arsenic. He had it coming. He had it coming. He took a flower in his pride. And then he used it. And he abused it. It was a murder, but not a crime. So I'm standing in a kitchen. Carving up the chicken for dinner, minding my own business. In storms, my husband will go and say, You've been screwing the milkman! And he kept on screaming, You've been screwing the milkman, he said! And then he ran into my knife. He ran into my knife ten times. If you'd have been there, if you'd have seen it, I bet you you would have done Get a shake in it. As non jack, on je hier is not kom. Ne fuck da ferry met. En make me shop the mafia yet. Do nemi gas. En art at la mad yok. Nem to dom. Miert non jonk in some hot in tetem. Probaltam. A rindo shake in make my garasni. The never tetem make. Yeah, but did you do it? Ah, uh, not guilty. My husband Charlie he jumped around with us. Now for the last number, you know, Raph, we need these 20 acrobatic tricks in a row. One, two, three, four, five, split, spread, it goes back, flip, flip, flops. One right after the other. So one night before the show, we're down at Hotel San Cicero. The three of us were in and having a few laughs. And we're not advice, so I go out to get some. I come back, open the door, and there's Veronica and Charlie doing number 17. The spread go. Well, I was in such a state of shock. I completely blacked out. I can't remember a thing. It wasn't until later, when I was washing the blood of my hands, I even knew they were dead. They had it come. 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 Alvin Lipschitz, more than I could possibly say. He was a real artistic guy, sensitive, a painter. But he was always trying to find himself. He'd go out every night looking for himself, and on the way, he found Ruth, Gladys, Rosemary, and Irving. I guess you could say we broke up because of artistic differences. He saw himself as alive, and I saw him dead. Dirty bomb.
number 17, the spreading of the pop. Six, squish. Uh uh, Cicero, Lipschitz. 